On January 5th, we lost our friend, Ed Rytan. Ed's research into early color television was extensive and found its way to the internet in several ways. His website preserves the results of some of that work, and that site is now saved on earlytelevision.org. Rytan received Bachelor of Science and Master of Science degrees from UCLA and was a doctoral candidate in engineering and computer science. Entering the workforce in 1963, he spent 42 years with ITT in the Los Angeles area, retiring in 2005. Said his friend, Don Kent, when he discovered something he liked, he took it with him. If it was old, Ed liked it. The technology of an earlier time was part of him. Kent was the KTLA videotape engineer who came to Ed with a problem, how to play back 1958 Fred Astaire videotapes recorded by RCA before SEMPTI standards were developed. Fred Astaire was a man who danced with beautiful ladies in the movies. He danced on the floor, he danced on the ceiling, he danced his way into the hearts of people all over the world. Well, Leonard Malton joins us with the wonderful news that modern technology has now matched the magic of Astaire's footwork. Leonard? Well, Rob, this month the Disney Channel is celebrating the work of Fred Astaire with the debut of An Evening with Fred Astaire. This is Fred Astaire, working his special magic for the first time on TV 30 years ago. People who haven't seen these shows since 1958 still remember them fondly. But until a massive restoration project got underway, memories were all that was left of this show the way it was meant to be seen. For years, this was all that was left of An Evening with Fred Astaire, a black and white kinescope film. But the show wasn't originally seen this way. In fact, it was the first TV special recorded on color videotape. After considerable searching, the original tape was found. But that wasn't the end of the story. It was just the beginning. The problem with this tape was you couldn't play it. It was recorded before there were any types of standard ways of playing back videotape recordings or any agreement in industry. And a lot of research, much research, showed that it was recorded on an experimental machine developed by RCA Laboratories of Princeton, New Jersey. Here's what that two-inch color tape looked like when the UCLA Film and Television Archive staff played it back on a conventional videotape machine. There was enough of an image there to lead them to believe that the show might be saved if they could just find or maybe rebuild the machine that was built to play it 30 years ago. Searching, trying to find how that early RCA Labs machine worked led us to try to locate the original designers and scientists at RCA Labs who were located in retirement and luckily in their den they had the last remaining copy of the circuit diagram of the way they had done that particular machine. So an old RCA machine was retooled at great pains to accommodate this precious tape. Then state-of-the-art technology took over to make the tape look and sound better than it did in 1958. Here's what had survived with all sorts of glitches and wobbles. And here's how it looks now. The first TV show completely re-recorded on digital videotape. As to the show itself, well, it's a stare at his best, and a relaxed showcase that allows him to work in every style and setting that he enjoyed. And how lucky we are that such superb entertainment has been saved for all of us to savor once again. Ed also worked on the tape restoration effort that brought to life the 1958 dedication of WRC's new studios in Washington, as Robert Sarnoff signaled the beginning of color casting for that station, an event captured on RCA color videotape across the country in Burbank. The cameras you see before you are color cameras. They are now transmitting a black and white picture. By pressing this button, which I now do, the cameras are transmitting a live color picture. When you step before them, you will be making your first appearance on color television from Washington. I congratulate every citizen whose um, understanding of this nation, of the world, will be made better and fuller uh, by this development. Thank you very much. Thank you all. Perhaps there are some persons in the world who uh, may not be very keen about being seen in their true and natural colors. Some of their pronouncements may on occasion bring a blush even to their own cheeks. <laughs> 